Greetings fellow girls, guys and gaming fans, this is Small Archangel and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 14. Uh, we have spent the night in Bob's Diner or Bob's Cafe and would you like fries with that? Um, it's been very, very quiet actually. I have not had very much to fear. And I've just noticed that you can actually search these rounded cupboards as well, despite the fact they clearly have no doors on them, which is interesting. So I just think we'll do a bit of a quick search of the place, see if we can find anything. Not that we are really in a position to pick anything else up at this juncture. We're not. We, uh, we are all full up. And uh, <coughs> there's some water here as well. But This is all good for the scavenging skill, of course. It makes our scavenging skill go up, even if we don't find anything useful. Or anything that we can use right now. Okay, may as well just rifle the tills as well, for old times' sake. Um, basically, if you saw the last episode, we found this little titchy POI. Uh, we got attacked by the second, well, a second wave of the horde. So we spent the night prior that to that right over there. As you see, I've still got a respawn point, which means that one thing I'm not carrying right now is a bedroll. But I thought we'd make another one when we find somewhere else to settle. I did just stay here tonight, just temporarily. The POI we have here is not ever so large. And I was hoping to find an actual town. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can find an actual town. I think this leads to that outside. Yes, it does. Hey ho. Okay. So, here we go. Home cooking. Bob's Cafe. And we uh, I sort of went in that little shack, but as you can, might imagine, there was absolutely nothing of any interest there at all. We've uh, seen all of the possibilities in Bob's Cafe. Uh, that is a water tower. Well, I know from experience that water towers contain water. And we know what uh, what happens when we sort of let that out as well. Been there, done that. And that was kind of before we even had the water physics that we have now. All right, so this is... To be sure, I'm not sure what this is, actually. Uh, but we're going to find out, or we're going to try and find out anyway. There's kind of a hole in the back, in the parking area, I'm not quite sure. A big pile of rubble and some sort of builder's yard or something, I'm not sure. But this is one of the new prefabs, and so I want to find out. I want to know what's here. It's spooky quiet here today. Now, is this, am I just going to have to break in here? Or did I go all the way around and like pass the break in the fence? Yes, I did. It's going to be one of those dead. Now that's an interesting block. I've not seen those before. Some sort of bollard type thing. And I'm guessing this is some sort of crane. So what's in this shed? Oh, wow. Oh, it goes underground. What the chuff? Hello, what the heck? Oh my word, this is fairly epic. What is this? It's, it's like a bunker, but it's, it's more like a power station or something. I guess it's a power station, actually. Uh-huh. Well, this might be quite defensible in point of fact. Okay, we're just going to have to trash that, aren't we, really? Yeah, that's going to take some doing. I want to know what's through there. Oh, I should have looked at the desk, but hey. Look at this. And where does this go? Back up again. What's that? Some sort of junction box. And there's a tower. Well, Wow. Something else this way as well. There is. What is this place? Working stiff, Gray. Well, that's a bit random. And a corpse. Nice. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I'm not absolutely sure still um, what this is. So... That was the main place here, which I, 
I think it must be some sort of power station. And then through here we've got some stairs going up to I don't know where. Oh, some lockers. And where does this lead to? All right, this is just the ground level again. Wow, this place is pretty huge. And there's the car park. Okay, it's as base material. It's got rather too many doors and too many entrances for my liking. It's kind of, I don't know, a largish footprint which makes it more difficult to defend. There's some sort of substation. Boom. Do we have the means to make another axe? I think so. And then we're out of stone, so we need to make sure we get some more stone. Because stone is essential to our primitive existence. Here we go. And this is the roof. And where does this lead? Okay, it was a window, I guess. All right, so we get a pretty good view from up here, including of that bear over there that I want to really avoid. So, I mean, I can see some potential in this place for a base, but as I say, it's on a pretty large footprint and there's just too many entrances. There's that shed there, which has got... So I feel like I had to block it off and we'd still end up getting attacked. So... Not perhaps absolutely ideal. Um, always kind of wedded to the idea of making my own base anyway, so. Hmm, interesting though. Interesting, I didn't manage to find anything much to, uh, to loot. Let's just see. In these lockers, actually, I didn't finish. Blue shirt, no. And another shirt. Okay desk. Football helmet. Uh oh, I can hear zombie activity. They've been quiet thus far. But I suppose it stands to reason they're going to appear at some point. Oh, I can shoot through that stuff. Gotcha. Okay, so. We'll just jump down and see if we can loot him. Uh, grab a couple more stones. That at least goes towards my next axe. Uh, and uh, I might just grab some more as well because we're on the stone arrows at the moment. And then we'll have a little look and see where we're going to head from here because this POI is uh, this rural hub, which is, I guess, what it is is kind of on a crossroads and so we've actually got a choice of directions to go in now we did pick up a treasure quest in the last episode there it is over there but of course we have the same problem which is we have nowhere to put it we're, we're full up here um, so what I think we need to do is set up a base pronto really but I, d I want to find, I still want to find a town. I'm absolutely adamant on this one, and if that means remaining nomadic for the, you know, the time being, then fine, I'm down with that, we'll do that. Um, I, in any case, was, you know, sort of wanted to try out <laughs> nomadic, and uh, it is a totally different style of gameplay. And uh, I had started a nomadic series before Alpha 14 came out as well, of course, so. This will give me a little bit of practice for if I do another series. Simply nomadic. Which I've never done very much nomadic before. I've always found somewhere to settle. Oh, she's dead. Good. Oh, and so's this one. Face shot. 
And we don't have anywhere to carry the bandages. That's a real downer. I've got one jar of beer. This is the downside with being nomadic. If you don't find... Nope. If you don't find any... Um, actually, let's do something really smart here. I can at least take, take one of those now. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need to find enough beer, really, because being nomadic need, requires more beer than having a base to go back to at night. Nice face plant, Nursey. So our treasure is somewhere over there. Um, we've still got a treasure marked from our previous treasure maps. It doesn't seem like they go away, either when you uh, pick up a new treasure quest or when you um, throw away the piece of paper that they came on. So it seems that they are retained uh, no matter, which is good. I'm guessing you just couldn't, you know, pick up a treasure quest with the same name twice because that wouldn't make any sense. So you find them in stacks of two. I guess once you've completed one, you might possibly be able to read the second. But really, we do not have the, uh, the space to be carrying such things around with us. Okay, so we're still in the pine biome. And actually, this road's curving around and going north anyway. Hey-ho, whatever. I'm just going to follow it in the vague hope that we're going to actually find a town. Because I really want some sort of decent looting round and about. The countryside, obviously, the forest is good for trees, for rocks, for nests, for feathers, and what have you, and all of that. But we really do need to find to find a town for the other things, the finer things in life. You know, a bit of civilization is what you need. And towns do seem to be quite thin on the ground. At least they are in this. Now. That's not as good as what I'm doing. See, that's something else I can't pick up. A supply drop. I can't pick it up. Yeah, towns do seem to be very thin on the ground in Alpha 14. I'm not sure why that would be. Because uh, there ain't a lot of water in the map here. Oh, I missed that one. That went through her... Uh, Okay. Yeah, this pine biome does not seem to be absolutely rammed full of lakes. So that's good. Nonetheless, I have not found a town yet. We are absolutely not going hungry, however. I have got part of the reason I can't fit anything else in there. Now, what do you call that, missus? Part of the reason I can't fit anything else in my inventory is because I have filled it with food. And that's because I'm nomadic. Now, what am I wearing on my feet? Those 10, 9, 6, I have a feeling that what I'm actually wearing is better. Yes, it is. Oh, you see, she just got a little bit quicker than I expected. Down she goes. And down you go to peas and meow chow. See, the zombies, for some reason, seem to be carrying food around with them. I don't know. Maybe they uh, sort of a uh, panic packed and before they got out of the houses. I don't know. Before they turned and only wanted to eat live human flesh. Okay, we're steadily going uphill. At this rate, we're going to end up in a snowy biome. <coughs> I do have a coat, but I threw the hat away because we just did not have space to carry it, something that I hadn't had the cause to use even once. I haven't had cause to use the coat either, but I kept it just because I thought at some point we might get to a colder area. And if we keep going up, that is certainly going to be the case. Come on, fun pips. Look, look at the area I've ranged across without finding a single town. Is this crazy or is this crazy? I don't want to have to restart my world because this one doesn't have any towns in it. That would just be 
Inconvenient. We're hoping this time around that there won't be any. Is this a cave? Oh, yes, it is. It's a big ass hole in the ground. Let's see if we can find a better entrance to it. See, this is why caves are no longer safe places to call base because you're just going to end up with a pit of zombies. An entire horde just spills straight into your base. And how am I supposed to get down there anyway? I need to make some steps or something to get out. Or cut my way down or something. It's not exactly convenient. Ah. Oh. Do you know what? We know where it is. If we want to come back, we can come back. We know where it is. We can see it on the map. It's a great big black hole. It's not exactly concealed. Well, our road has wound down a little bit again. So, no danger of snow here. I would quite like to find a snowy biome at some point. Jennifer's treasure map. Damn it, man. Can we just... Read that and add it to our quests and then get shot. I just want to read this schematic for a claw hammer at the same time. There we go. How cunning was that? And there is something up ahead. It's probably not a town, but there is at least a building, which is a start. It's another rural hub. Oh no, there's a house. Uh, it might still be just a rural hub, of course. I don't see enough to suggest that this is a town. Yeah, this just this is a shamways here. But this is just a rural hub. I wonder if there's something that could sort of prevent towns from spawning. Whoa. Let's just take out the residence. Sham sandwich. No, thank you. Thank you all the same. Let's shoot him in the leg. This is a bunker, right? Yeah, this is a bunker. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm not going to be able to shoot them, not till they break through that fence. Sorry, Edgar, but you're going down, pal. Okay, and I can't even make use of your chin. I've sh killed him by shooting him in the legs. Here comes another Edgar. Yep. All the zombies in the, ne the neighborhood are heading my way. Nice. There's definitely more of them here than there used to be. They're spawning on all sides. Yeah, I'm onto you. Bye bye. Now, was there somebody else in here? There was, and he's just stomping off in the opposite direction. Yeah, you. You, I'm talking to you. Did you look at me funny? Yeah, never do it again. Okay, so here we have a bunker. There's a bear. I can still see some zombies smacking heck out of things in there. Which I'd rather they didn't, because, you know, I quite like shamways and stores to sort of not get beat to crap by zombies and I could probably do with some beer for the onward journey yes I could so please die don't make me come in there she's gone <clears throat> sounds like there's still some in there somewhere I've done half the job of breaking in. Be rude not to accept the help. Let's just... I can tell there's someone else in here. Yes, you. Bye-bye. And you. 
Okay, gunpowder. I wish I could pick up gunpowder. Hmm, those bandages would be nice too. How are we for bandages? We've got a full stack of... Ugh. Yeah, not something we can really uh, afford. Look at that, they've broken through the whole thing for us. But the only thing I can really deal with at the moment... Oh, hello. What are you doing, dear? Okay, I'd go. Come here and say that. Why are you doing chin ups on the door frame for, Edgar? Why are you doing chin ups on the door frame? I'm not impressed by your physique, pal. Really not. Okay, let's see what we can get in here. Mostly, I'm after beer. Oh, yes. I want a full stack of beer if I can possibly manage it. Okay, I might just check out the yeah, bathroom before we go. Is that better than the wrench I have? Oh, yes it is. We'll just do a bit of a switcheroo. And uh, we'll see if there's anything in the medicine cabinets. Now, did we learn that already? I'm not sure. I think we did, did actually. Oh, we did not. Okay. I'm thinking of a different game there I think. So that was worth doing. Antibiotics. Oh my gosh. We do need those. Well what can I drop? Ta-da. You know what? You could I'm gonna put that soup there because it's not as useful as this. Those nails might not seem ever so useful but they are gonna be. Oh that sounds like about 40 of them. Guess what? I'm going the other way. See ya. It's starting to get a little bit dusky. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. Well, there's three of them, definitely. And I'm just wondering whether I should stay here. That was stupid. I should have moved faster. Stop it, Steve. Whether I should stay here for the night, which I probably should, given the time. Or move on, but no, I don't think I should move on. Not really. I still want to find a town. I am not giving up on finding a town. Hello, Silence of the Lambs. Well, let's do what we did here before. We will accept. Now... I didn't actually pay too much attention to what that said because now probably isn't the ideal time to be doing that. So we're just going to get shot of the, the neighbours and then we're going to call this our temporary stopover point. Ah, uh, two more bandages. I probably should have just taken those last time. There we go. And then maybe... I know that's a bunker. Really, they're no more secure than houses. Safest houses. I might regret saying that. Okay, so where's my... Do I even have any frames? Do you know what? I don't even have any wood frames. Now, how did that happen? Because surely I wouldn't even have been able to get out of my last place without any. Okay, we're going to just do this arrow right there we go then frames go all right here we go nice there's a massive hole in the side of this house which is not great And I think we will just fix up this wall. Because being able to see through it doesn't make me feel any more secure.
We'll have a lightning raid on the place, see if there's anything here we can use. And that I'm reluctant to take out of there, oddly enough, because it will smell. Hello, we can take both of those. I have half a mind to take the stairs out, because if we do that, zombies can't get up. Nice. I can still get down, but they cannot get up. Okay, we're going to need another frame for there. A uh, frame. Let's make three more. There we go. One for there. And two for here. And like I say, safe as houses. As safe as you can be in the zombie apocalypse, in a room, with a corpse, who doesn't even have anything. Oh, is that a backpack? Hello, we can definitely use that. Wrench schematic. We need to keep that free, because that... There we go. Either we have not unlocked that before, or we have unlocked it, uh, and it has just unlocked a second time, I'm not sure. So, what I might do at this point, uh, we've got loads of plant fibres, so I'm going to make myself a new bedroll, and we're going to move our bedroll this much further forwards on the map. You can see we found a little tiny rural hub there and another little tiny rural hub here. And we've got treasure dotting around the map, following us on our merry way as well. Uh, but the frustrating thing is, just can't find anywhere to settle at the moment. Now, at some point, might well just have to admit defeat and uh, either take things the way they are or restart and move our character to a new world. I don't want to do either of those things. Ideally, I want, you know, to be able to sort of, yeah, find myself a town and set, set up nearby. Um, but uh, there you go. Beggars can't be choosers in the apocalypse, I suppose. But at the moment, I do intend on keeping on looking. So wish me luck, guys, girls and gaming fans, as we continue the search for a town in the next episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 14. Um, until then... If you like this episode, you know what to do. And I hope to see you in the next. Till then, keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye-bye for now.